Okay, now the next part, part C, let's just move on up a bit more. Part C, we're asked to find the equation for the normal to C at the point P. So the equation of a normal is a straight line. Any line has the form, let's just write it over here, any line going through a particular point, say x1, y1, has the form y minus y1 equals the gradient m times x minus x1. Now, if we're looking at the point P, okay, the point P had an x1 value okay, of 1, and we worked out that the corresponding y1 value, you may remember, let's just bring that back into play, you can see, was negative 1. Okay, so the y1 value was negative 1. And m, the gradient, well, the, what we had worked out was that the gradient of the tangent was negative 13. Now, the normal, you may remember, is a line that is perpendicular to the tangent. And when you've got the gradient of the tangent as being minus 13, then to get the normal, all we have to do is invert our fraction. We think of this as minus 13 over 1. Invert it, that becomes minus 1 thirteenth and switch the sign. So the gradient of the normal will be 1 thirteenth. Okay, so that's a very simple rule. When you're trying to find perpendicular gradients, just simply invert the fraction and switch the sign. So I'm going to put that in because that's a key point here. So at P, okay, the gradient of the normal, so the gradient of the normal equals 1 over 13, 1 thirteenth. So I'm now in a position, because I've got the coordinates of P and the gradient of the normal, to use this particular version of the straight line. Okay, so I'm going to say therefore, rather than just writing down what the equation is, let's just introduce it, okay? So therefore, the equation okay, of the normal, normal at P is, okay? By the way, I find too many people always write things like this as being the equation of normal at P equals do avoid that. Is is good to use. Okay. If you write equals, you're going to get it wrong. Okay. Is so that should be equation normal at p is y minus y1. So we know the y1 coordinate is negative one equals the gradient, which uh, we said was one thirteenth, one over thirteen times x minus the x coordinate x1, which was one. Okay. Now we just need to put this in the format that they want, uh, ax plus by plus c equals naught, where a, b and c are integers. Okay, So what I'm going to do is get rid of this 13 by multiplying both sides by 13, and also knowing that this is plus 1. Okay, So multiplying both sides by 13 gives 13y, and then 13 times plus 1 is plus 13 equals, and if we times this by 13, essentially what we're left with is 1 times that bracket, which in other words is x minus 1. We're not quite there yet. To get it in the right style, ax plus by plus c, I'm going to subtract 13y and 13 from both sides. Okay, so if I do that, I'm left with x, then I would have minus 13y, and then I've got minus 1, minus another 13 is minus 14, and that will equal 0. And that's in the form then ax plus by plus c equals naught, where a, b, and c are integers. Okay, so hopefully you've understood that and uh, able to do similar questions like this other times.